Hey guys, John here with Giant Truck and Outdoors. So I filmed a video probably about four weeks ago or three weeks ago of me and my buddy Cole and Caleb and Christian out lake trout and burbot fishing. And I'll show a video of me catching my first burbot and some of my friends catching burbot and lake trout. And then I'll show you a video as well as of myself catching my first Atlantic salmon, which I wasn't even fishing for Atlantic salmon. And I had a hook up and hooked it right in the mouth and pulled it in. I was using a swim bait and I couldn't even believe what I caught, but check out this footage. And then once you see that footage, there'll be a video of myself cooking it up as well and turning it into delicious meals. So stay tuned and Thanks so much for watching. Oh, nice! You got a burbot. Ah, that is awesome. Very nice burbot. Come back if my <laughs> rod was slack after I got done talking. Yeah. Hell yeah! Man, that is awesome. Good job. That's your first burbot. Yes. That is awesome. Awesome. He came off the far rod. He was pretty far out. That's cool. That's a nice chunky burbot. Hey guys, check out this burbot. It's a cool funny little fish. Has this little bird bell underneath. It's really cool. It's my first time touching one of these and seeing them in real life. That is awesome. You on? Yep. Nice. Wow! Lake trail! Yes. <laughs> that is awesome! I got it! That is a nice laker! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's a, you gotta press the button. There you go, man! That is awesome! Got one? Okay. Nice. That was awesome. Is that another barbet? Yeah. yeah. I need to go catch. I just twitched like two or three times. Oh. <laughs> I tried to pick him up. Well, that's cool. Oh, we'll be back too. I'm on. I'm on! <laughs> nice! Burbit! Go on getting rock. There he is! Nice! Heck yeah. Nice! That was my first burbit. I finally caught my first burbot. Thank you. That feels really nice to have this guy. Guys, I finally caught my first burbot. It's pretty awesome dude, he's very slimy. I'm going to keep them and I'll be uh, cooking them later, so stay tuned. This is an awesome fish. Right on the room, just got done touching it and this thing and <laughs> bobs real hard right after you put the thing on it. Good bar it. Nice. Like if he brings it to the other side of this. Yeah, I'm good. I'm minty. I'm clear. Okay, right. sweet. Nice. You think he's worth keeping? Yeah. yeah. If you don't want them, I'll take them in a heartbeat. Well, that's like my rug. I'm keeping them. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. He's doing well. What's up, buddy? Well, what? Very nice burbot. That didn't take too long. No, sure it didn't.
Well, I just caught a steelhead. That is awesome. Steelhead. What is that? What is this? <laughs> That's not a steelhead. If we can keep it, I want to keep it. It's an Atlantic salmon. Are you allowed to keep Atlantic salmon? Yeah. I didn't even know they were here. That's what that is. Will, that's awesome. Hey guys, I just caught my first Atlantic salmon. It's a beautiful salmon. We're going to be eating it later, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? John here with Johnny Drunken Outdoors. Well, I just finished fishing. I'm back in the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and get this burbot and salmon cooked up. I took a pan. And I grease the bottom with butter. I'm going to go ahead and lay the salmon burbot in this pan. And this just not off that one burbot I caught, but this over a bunch of burbot I caught after that one. You might scroll back, and there's a couple other videos I put out with me catching burbot. That's why I have so much burbot meat with me. So I just put all the burbot and the salmon on a pan that I can fit on it. I'm gonna be cooking this up like you would cook up a lobster and broiling it in the oven, which is a new way that I haven't tried yet before. But stay tuned, I'll let you know what I'm using as I go through it. So here I'll be making that garlic herb butter, which I can spread on top of this fish here. I'm gonna use probably a good scoop of this garlic. And then I'm going to use some paprika. Which good. Then I got some fishmonger seasoning. Be dumping a bit of that in there. That has salt and pepper and a lot of herbs in it. Be using a bit of thyme. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just douse these fish down with it. Try and do this one-handed here, so I'll probably put down the camera and finish them up. Well, I preheated the oven to 500 degrees, so I'm gonna stick this whole platter of fish in there in the oven about five inches away from the top where it's gonna get broiled, so. And give that about eight to ten minutes. Well, it certainly smells delicious in there. We just have it on high on broil. Damn, it looks delicious. It smells delicious too. Well, I'm going to try two good pieces. Here's some burbot. Here's a bit of that Atlantic salmon. Well, this certainly looks delicious. Got some burbot here and some Atlantic salmon, so I'm going to try it. See how it tastes. That was really good. Try a bit of the salmon. Well, that's pretty awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me and my buddy Cole and Christian and Caleb out burbot and lake trout fishing. And I caught that my first Atlantic salmon as well. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this catch clean cook. Stay tuned on Friday evening of next week for my next episode. Take care. Bye.